Hi, I'm again in uh, Roswell, New Mexico. I'm looking at uh, a edge of a riparian area here this time. Uh, the, the edge of, because as you look behind me, you can see this, this hill. And then, you know, in the background over here, you've got where the water course comes down. The previous video, I was talking about how there's this crusted dead ecosystem and uh, very poor water runoff, very poor water infiltration, very slow mineral cycle. And you realize that all that water, all that excess water that should be going into the ground is now making it into this riverine area, into this riparian area, and it's causing all sorts of havoc here. But even here, close to the water's edge, where you'd think there'd be a lot of livestock uh, or wildlife, uh, this is an unfenced area now. If you look down at the soil surface again, uh, look at this dead bunch grass here. It's uh, really big, old, dead, and look at the erosion here. So because the water from the the, up, the higher area is coming off here, not inf infiltrating into the soil, there's a lot more water flowing past. Dead roots, non-utilization, over-rested, over whatever decadent whatever you want to call it but look at the amount of erosion that's happening here here again another dead tuft it's absolutely gone no chance of that resurrecting itself and look at the erosion again capping tight 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 no no water infiltration this is actually more clay soil here than where i was filming a few moments ago really really hard um and then moving away from the riparian area, look at all the dead plant bases here. Moving up, all oh, some weeds trying to do what they can, fulfilling a function of holding some soil, some microbial activity in the soil, doing their very best. Less um, hard capping, but still extremely capped. Moving away here, just look at how desperately sad the soil is. And look here, here we've got a grass tuft. This one's really rest tolerant, uh, tolerant of years and years of no animals eating on it. Look at the circle around the outside. And you see the middle is completely dead. There's a little bit of a live bit of green coming through there. But yes, there's a gully right here. Look at the erosion around this grass. The grass level used to be about here see that and all the soil this entire area is soil look here you see that all gone these poor grass plants hanging on a dry cycle after a wet cycle last year last year was very very wet well much higher than average rainfall and this season's looking very different it's been a very late start hardly any moisture Will these grass tufts make this summer, this wet cycle? It remains to be seen. Over here, half dead brush. And uh, I say half dead. There are little remnants on the outside. No, that's dead. This is a brush now that's died from this poor water cycle. Look at the little mini pedestals over here. Extremely, extremely hard. Look at this, all eroded. Every bit of topsoil gone. What this is crying out for is animals. Well, it's a pretty sunset in New Mexico. HMI is helping ranchers understand what's needed, understanding the need and timing for animals. We give uh, cattle a bad rap for all the uh, ammonia that they create, the dung that they uh, push through, and they really bad for the carbon crisis that people have created remember before livestock <laughs> this area had buffalo and elk mule deer pronghorn antelope all using that same ruminant digestion and keeping this area healthy keeping the ecosystem function the water infiltration clean air sequestering carbon that's all been stopped because of the exclusion of, of those ruminants. 
man can play the role of predator in this environment and yet um, there's so much resistance and misunderstanding and we at HMI are doing our very best to inform, educate, help people understand what's needed and not just what's needed, how to do that, providing them with the tools, providing them with the courage, step-by-step -step process to get things moving, functioning and profitable again.